Hello again, and welcome back to Educator.com's Introduction to PHP course. In today's lesson, we're going to be wrapping up our discussion of conditional loops. Uh, first off, we're going to be talking about uh, nested conditional loops. Just as we have uh, talked about nested uh, conditional control structures, you can do that with loops as well. We're going to um, revisit the uh, break and continue statement uh, as they re relate to nested, uh, nested conditional loops. Um, because they're a little bit different application when loops are nested. And then we're also going to go over some loop debugging tips because uh, loops can sometimes be tricky to, to get them to work right. Uh, so first of all, any conditional loop can be um, nested within another conditional loop, um, just as was the case with our conditional control structures like if. Um, one of the common uh, uses for nesting uh, conditional, control, conditional loops is to uh, loop over multidimensional arrays. Um, because that allows you to, uh, the, first, the outer loop you'll um, iterate over one dimension of the array, and then in this inner loop you'll iterate over the second dimension of the array. So let's actually take a look at that uh, in an example. This is a page, uh, file called nestedloops.php, um, and we've created a, an array here called uh, matrix. So it's a multi-dimensional array, it's supposed to sort of represent a three by three matrix, and um, it's a uh, numerically, in, the outer array is a numerically indexed array that contains three arrays, each of which is a numerically indexed array that contains three elements, um, which are just the strings uh, for like the first row, or the first array is represent the first row of the matrix, 1A, 1B, 1C, 2A, 2B, 2C for the second row, and so forth. And all we're going to do is, is to practice with the nested loops is to uh, iterate over this array and output each row. So the way we, we do that is um, the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to iterate over the outer array, which is going to be matrix itself. Um, and we're not using a uh, for each uh, loop here, even though we're iterating over an array, uh, because I want to uh, talk a little bit about uh, using counter variables uh, in nested loops. Uh, and I'll get to that in a second. Uh, but basically, uh, this for each loop right here uh, loops over the outer matrix, the outer array, um, which is uh, the, mat the matrix variable. Um, and once it, in once it iterates um, each time on the matrix, matrix array, um, we're going to set a variable called row equal to uh, whatever um, value that we're on as we iterate through the array. So the first time through row is going to equal uh, this array here. The second time through it's going to equal uh, the second array and so forth. And the way we access that is by uh, using the, the counter variable to uh, get access into this indexed array. Uh, then what we're going to do is uh, using a while loop, and this is to show how you can nest different loops within other loops, um, we're going to loop over uh, the row array because each, each element of matrix is an array itself, and we're going to loop over um, each uh, row array and just basically output each of its different values. So what this does is this um, we set up a counter zero, and this is our, our, our test condition to make sure that we're um, only looping over, not looping past the end of the array. We increment the loop counter at the end of each while loop, and then basically the content of the loop is that we're just going to output uh, each row value followed by a space. Now the reason I said that um, uh, here we're also uh, iterating over array, so typically you'd use a for each statement for that. Um, the reason is just to show that you'll, you'll often see, uh, especially when iterating over multidimensional arrays, um, several levels of uh, nested loops. And it's common in the um, outer array where you actually have a purpose for using the, the counters and wouldn't be using a for each loop, that the outer array, and this is kind of a convention that's used, um, the counter is called i, and then for the next um, array, net, for the next loop nested within that one, uh, the counter is called j. And then if you have a third one, it's called K. And so it's I, J, and K, and that's a common convention. Uh, so I just wanted to, to explain it to you so you'll see that a lot, that um, when you have uh, multiple uh, conditional loops nested within one another that have counters, uh, the common convention is to, to name them I, J, and K. And you, you typically don't see more than uh, three loops nested together at the same time. Uh, so if we go ahead and run this script, uh, nestedloops.php, now uh, we can see that what it does is it goes through and it um, in the outer loop it pulls uh, pulls out each each row of the array or each row of our matrix and then loops over that array outputting each of the values in it. So here we can see all of the values um, in that first array 
uh, which is the first element of matrix. Uh, and then you can see that it's done the same for uh, the, second the second element of matrix and the third element of matrix. And so that's uh, one way that you can use nested loops to loop over uh, a multidimensional array.